lift this sack. We need to dump these corn in there. Okay. Please. Corn. The corn goes into pot. I see what you mean. That they, they don't want to come out of the bag. All right. So now All we right. got our corn. We got our potatoes. We keep it simple, traditional crawfish bowl. You can put whatever in there you want at this point. Jalapenos, mushroom, sausage, onions. We've done all that, been there, done it. We find that most of that doesn't get eaten. Nope. So, corn and potatoes, on the other hand. They do. High commodity, they, people eat those. So we just kind of do what our family likes to eat. All right, so I use Zatarans, New Orleans tradition. Uh, crab boy. Okay, it's just a really good bit of spices to cook crawfish in. And this is the pro boil, also by Zatarans. Uh, and no, I'm not getting paid by Zatarans, but you know, if you watch this video, Zatarans, you might want to. Uh, but this is the, the pro boil. It's basically the same thing as the crab boil, but it has less salt, but it has more heat. These and these, because the corn and potatoes really absorb, especially the potatoes, absorb the spices and if you over spice it then the potatoes get too hot yeah and uh, you don't want the potatoes too hot you want them you know a nice potato flavor you want to dip it in some hot melted butter mm. all right so we're going to just lightly seasoning the pot with the corn and potatoes we don't want to over spice these just a little bit of flavor okay oh my god you can smell that can. that's all we're going to do Yucky. Are you going to eat them? No. No. Only when they're dead. Only when they're dead? We're picking out the dead ones. Yeah, let me pick up some. So far, not so far, too bad. Like three or dead, four. Yeah. Cool. These are some big ones. I know. Oh, look at that baby one. Is that one dead? Uh, Dad, I think that one is dead. Is that one dead? Yeah, that one's dead, Dad. Oh, my goodness. Let me do it. I think this one's dead, right? It was hanging on, wasn't it? No, he's alive. He's alive. Cool, there's some monsters in there. I know. Look at the size of some of these claws. Yeah, this I know, just because just because they're not big, don't mean, they don't have claws. Don't, have, don't mean they have big claws. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. Whoa. Look at that guy. Oh, holy. Oh, my God. That's a whole sack? I remember one, I got... One, uh, one sack. I remember Dang. I got pinched by a crab. It hurt so bad, but... Are they taking their salt bath? Oh, that's, yeah. that's a baby. We got that's a little salt, baby one. We're gonna pour them in when the bucket's cute. ready, and we're gonna boil them. You gonna get? Cute. You gonna eat the little baby ones? I'm gonna eat all. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. We're just gonna we got a big old fork. We're gonna raise the basket up, and we just want to make sure that our potatoes are nice and pork tender. All right, pretty close. I think we could probably pull them, but I'm gonna. Now we got a little one that's a little bit al dente there. I'm gonna leave them in maybe another five minutes and then we'll retest them. You don't want any dirty crawfish, so we're gonna stir them up, knock that dirt off of them. This is uh, rinse number two, Jimbo. Number two. We salted them, purged them, and now we're rinsing them again. Yep. We're not gonna drink the water. But <laughs> not yet. No, not nobody, yet. Nobody wants dirt on the crawfish when it's done. No. The proper way to grab a crawfish, <laughs> you want to grab them just behind the pinchers, just like that, and they cannot get to you or pinch you. Okay, so don't be trying to grab them in front of the pinchers. You can play with them all you want <laughs> this way. <laughs> oh my God! Look at that one. That's a monster. Now this, this one here is a boss. The That's the boss. <laughs> you know you feel like they're clean? Yeah. Okay. Watch out. That's dead. We're going to go ahead and drain them. That's rinse number two. We salted them. Jacks, watch your feet. We salted them with, uh, with some salt. We're going to go ahead and purge them this time. Watch out, baby. Get get this one. Get over here on this way so you don't get all dirty. Oh, yeah. Here, here we go. go. There you go. Keep on. Keep on. Pull it back. That's it. All right. Let it drain out. Early. 
They just had their bath. Now they're going in the hot tub. That was just staring at me. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> It's like the cold water shocked them. They're not moving. Yeah, they kind of like. Isn't that down. funny? Not one of them. No, none of them are moving. It's so funny. Oh, there yeah. they go. That scared them. <laughs> All right, so we had about five more minutes pass. You're going to go ahead and test the potatoes one more time. Make sure they're nice and tender. That's what you're looking for right there, okay? Because they're going to continue to cook a little bit. Once we put them in our container, yep. it'll still continue to cook, okay? But we are ready to pour potatoes and corn. This is probably the biggest crawfish we've ever seen. Absolutely. By Get far. you some of that. Give me sugars. Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> all fascinated with how big this crawfish is. Look how big compared to all the other crawfish. He's massive. Dude, you're gonna get pinched. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get pinched? Yeah. <laughs> Censor that. <laughs> that big daddy just got me. No, he, he didn't. Another one did. We cannot get over you guys. Have y'all ever seen? If you have, please comment down below. We have never, my brother and I, have been craw a boiling crawfish for a lot of years. We have never seen one this damn big. No, that's big. That's huge. Okay, so this is batch number two. Batch number three is waiting over here for us. I have no idea what they meant. Here's the finished product. Got some lemons in there. Did you put an orange in there too, babe? God, that smells good. It does smell good. Oh. That would smell really good. All right, so we got our orange. We, uh, we got a little sidetracked. <laughs> Ready? By the giant crawfish. And we're gonna, this is the most crucial part. This is gonna cool the water down to where they don't continue to cook, but they continue to absorb that flavor. This is the, this is the part where the crawfish get happy and they taste really good. So we're gonna let them sit, steep in there for about 10 minutes. We're gonna dump this batch. And we're gonna go in with our next batch. All right. <laughs> Are they ready? 
Jace. Almost. About to pour them. About to make the pour here. Just a minute. Oh man, you need to smell a bit. I know, right? Oh yeah. I don't think we're gonna have any left. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we got the first batch in the ice chest. We're gonna go in with our second batch. My brother, Jim. For all of you that don't know him, this is my brother, Jim. I'm the my older ugly, brother. I'm the ugly older one. <laughs> okay, now, here's the thing. We're gonna go in with our butter. Put another stick of butter. We're gonna squeeze our lemons in ahead of time. Drop them in. Come in with our oranges. Haley there. All right. Now we're gonna go in with our shrimp and crab bowl concentrate. Okay, this is just uh, this is concentrate. It's gonna hit a little faster, get a little bit more flavor. Put the whole bottle in. One more jug of seasoning to our second sack. And then we have one more sack. We're gonna add our last jug of seasoning and our last jug of probol or liquid concentrate. Every batch that we do, we want it to get a little bit spicier and spicier. The first batch is going to be more for the kiddos, <laughs> although our kiddos are pretty grown and they can handle the spicy stuff. But for like, the little ones, like Sophia, this, that's going to be perfect for her. I think right, the wind. Up, we're going to cut the lid on, we're going to fire it back up. When it comes to a boil, and go the crawfish. I think the wind just blew some of that seasoning straight down my throat. <laughs> Go. They've been watching twice. Look at the big guy on top. Big guy right there. Side door, baby. Where's that big guy? Big guy's probably at the bottom right now. He is. <laughs> Number two. For all of them? Yep, we're all in. Mm. Missed a few. You dropped a few. <laughs> you just think you're getting away, little crawfish. You think you'll live? No, you're not. Oh. Don't let them pinch you. <laughs> what a flip. <laughs> oh. Did he get you? You Kids cleaning batch number three over here. Oh, another big one? Yeah, put them back in here. Give them another bath, huh? Should I pour the salt in? Cameron, get the salt. Salt in. Did you get that nice shot of my arm? I did. <laughs> Batch number two is just about ready. Oh my god, there's the monster. Oh yeah. Gotta ice them down. Ice is so mad. That's good. There's the big one. Oh, Big Daddy's dead now. Who's gonna eat him? 
Those kids feed the world. Who's gonna eat him? We may split it. Look at that. Be curious to see what his tail looks like. Y'all gotta get his claw meat out too. Look at the size of that. That's a monster. Good Is that a big crawfish? It's got some girth to it. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, put a little one. No, that's not a little one, though. But that's a big one. No, you say that's a big one. Yeah. This is king size. This is King Kong. Okay, Haley's getting the monster. Let's see that thing. Oh, man. I'm waiting. I don't want to. Okay, y'all get you get the claw meat out. Yeah, the big ones are hard to peel. Yeah, I know. Did you get this claw meat out? I can never get claw meat out. Cameron's good. Yeah. Let me see how big it is. Cool. cool. Okay, tell me if it's good, because I figure it's probably not gonna be as good as some of the smaller ones. It's good. Cool. Are they good? Yes. Look how many are still left. Looks like we haven't eaten any yet. No, we eating some. This is one sack, by the way. One. There's two other sacks. Y'all enjoying? Alright, last batch is going in. We're going in. My brother's going in with the last batch. <laughs> Last batch of the night. Much smaller batch this time. Yeah, sm much smaller one. batch. Nice. 
<laughs> and the cook waits till the end to eat. If you ain't cracking and sucking the heads, piecing the tails, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> How are they? Very good. You're eating the last batch, the hot so batch. So everybody's gone. The boil is over. And uh, I got to tell you, they taste amazing. Very good. I'm very pleased.